obviously the Brain Performance Center. I saw a study on depression the other day that just blew me away. It showed that over half of U.S. adults are experiencing some depression at any given time. That's three times more than it was at the beginning of the year. And yes, 2020 has been a very challenging year for all of us on all different levels. But I find there, seem, there tends to be some confusion around depression anyway. Depression is so much more than just being sad and blue. Depression can make your life very difficult. If you've noticed that it used to be easy to get your job done, and all of a sudden it's so difficult, or if you've noticed that you just cannot stay on top of things around the house, or if you've noticed that your conversations with colleagues and friends and family just gets to the point of being overwhelming, too much trouble, something is wrong. And so what you need to do is stop and check in with yourself. I try to check in with myself every week. How you doing, Lee? And the answer is, is I'm feeling bad or I'm feeling guilty or I'm blaming myself for something, then I know I need to stop and think about how I address that. Because there are many options. And the worst thing to do is when you stop and you don't know what's going on and you just ignore it, you just try to keep pushing through. And when you find yourself doing that, ask yourself some questions. Number one, are you enjoying doing the things that you've really used to treasure? Like going to the gym, and if you're not, there's a reason. Are you feeling more down, more hopeless? Are you feeling that you just can't make a decision? It's so hard to concentrate. All of those are signs of depression. If you've had a friend or a family say to you, it seems like you're just more restless or you're moving slower, pay attention to that. That's valuable feedback. And most importantly, if you feel yourself thinking, it's just not worth it. It would be easier if I weren't here. Stop right there. You need to get some help. Depression is caused by a combination of things. It has some genetics involved. It has some neurological impact, biological, what's going on in our environment, physiological. Depression is not just a mental disease. It affects us physically too. And people don't understand how many treatment options there are for depression. Some people, medication works for them. Other people, it doesn't. But if you're experiencing depression, talk to someone, talk to a professional, and help them, let them help you figure out what you need. At the Brain Performance Center, we use different types of neuromodulation and neurofeedback to calm that brain down. And by calming that brain down, we can accelerate neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to change. Because sometimes when we're depressed, I can't tell you how many times I've heard somebody say, I just feel stuck. And depression happens at all ages. It happens to men as well as women. Women are twice as more likely to be depressed than men, and women are more likely to get treatment. Men react differently to depression, and many men don't seek treatment. But depression is real, and know that. And the worst thing to say to somebody that you think may be suffering from depression is, hey, snap out of it, shake it off. Because depression is as real and people need to understand that it is okay to not be okay. The best thing to say to somebody that you think may be depressed is, I'm here and I'm going to support you all along the way. Because depression is not an end. Depression is a beginning. And it's, so, it's very treatable and it can be worked through. Depression is a brain issue. Negative thoughts create negative feelings, create negative behavior. If you can change those negative thoughts, change that negative behavior, and get that brain to calm down, you'll be in a much better state of mind. Talk about that in my book, Turn Your Brain On to Get Your Game On. And if I can help you in any way, because I know how hard it is when you're feeling hopeless or just down and out, I know how hard it is to reach out. I am happy to spend 30 minutes with you over the phone or in person to help you understand 
do you have depression? I think once we know, we feel much more in control.